Anthropic has released a new Sonnet 3.5 model, which is different from the Sonnet 3.5 model that we had, but they didn't decide to call it the 3.6 model or anything like that. But anyway, we're going to test it today and see if it actually holds up. So to start, we're going to actually come here into Raptor Write and uh, test out some of the prompts in this. Uh, Raptor Write works using Open Router, just like Novel Crafter and a bunch of other programs do. Uh, we're going to test that in both Raptor Write and Novel Crafter and in Claude's own native platform, just to see if there are any differences between the three. This is actually the first time I'm sitting down and really testing these models. I have seen lots of feedback from other authors online so far in the last just couple of hours talking about what it can and can't do, and there seems to be a number of limitations. The announcement of this new 3.5 model was talking about how it does so much better on different benchmarks, particularly trying to gear it towards coding and making coding a better thing. Thing. We, however, are not so interested in coding. We're looking for writing because this is a generative large language model, right? So we want this to actually be good for actual language writing. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and dive in and try some prompts. So I'm in one of my test projects right here in Raptor Write, and uh, I've already got this story idea put here. This is just generated from previous Raptor Write experiments along with an outline and a scene brief. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and do a command and say, write the first 400 words of chapter one using the scene brief. And we're just starting with a e nice easy prompt here. Okay, so we've got something here. This isn't too bad. It, it is actually writing for us, uh, but I asked only for the first 400 words. And it does seem to be following the prompt. So this actually isn't too bad. And the quality of the prose, I would say, is about equal to what we had before with 3.5 Sonnet. I don't see anything particularly groundbreaking. So let's try that again. Let's try write the entire chapter one in, let's give it a ridiculous number, um, 10,000 words. In the past, sometimes if you gave it a ridiculous number like 10,000 words, it would stretch itself and write maybe 3,000. They've gotten smarter than that. So sometimes, like we used to say 50,000 words or so, but now we usually bring that down because if it will stop. Yeah. So it's like, looks like it kind of broke here. I apologize, but I'll need to break this response. Uh, <laughs> so it didn't even start the actual scene. Uh, so let's try that again. Uh, instead of 10,000, let's bring it down to 3,000. Uh, see if it does any better with that. Okay, so it is writing the scene. Let's see how many words it ends up actually creating. Okay, so it ended up creating about 1,500 words, which is not bad. I can usually get that much out of a large language model. So this isn't, yeah, this isn't too bad. And just so we're clear, like I am using the uh, new 3.5 Sonnet model. If you go to Open Router, you can see that it's listed here. We have under October 2024, we have Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet self-moderated. I've been using the one that is not self-moderated because I wanted to test that out. The self-moderated one is a little confusing, but basically what that means is it is moderated in a different way for all intents and purposes. And it tends to be a little more lenient towards creative writing than the non-self-moderated one. So in fact, let's actually go back to Raptor Write, we're going to try this prompt again, exactly as we did, uh, but I'm going to select the self-moderated one, and we're going to try this again. All right, this time I wrote 1,100 words, still not too bad. It stopped mid-sentence, so it's clearly not done writing the scene. So if I go ahead and set equals on this and say, please continue the rest of the scene using chapter one scene brief. All right, so yeah, it wrote a little bit more. Now it's up to 1,500 words. Not too bad. And honestly, I'm looking at this prose and it's not too bad at all. Uh, so I'm not seeing as many issues here so far from what other people have been reporting. But we did see issues when we tried to ask it to write more. I imagine that's one of the issues that people are falling into. You've probably gotten into a habit of prompting it to, add, to give you a lot of words. And now it's breaking because of that. Uh, so that might be something to keep in mind. Let's go into Novel Crafter and try testing it here. I've got just the very beginnings of a story here. 
Not much going on, but I'm just going to start with a very simple starting beat. And I'm going to use a general purpose demonstration model. And right now, this is exactly the same as the general purpose model. I just created a clone so I could test it and try giving it more word counts and stuff like that. So this is bringing in a lot of information and it's asking for 400 words, so writing the next 400 words. So I'm going to go ahead and select the non-moderated version. Okay, this is, this is pretty good. And uh, it took a little creative liberty, but that's probably just because I gave it a very simple starting beat here. And actually the prose here is not bad at all. I'm curious now, um, we're gonna try writing uh, the same thing, but we're gonna do it with the old Claude 3.5 and see how it does. Okay, it wrote something, it's a little different than the other one and not actually as good. So this is interesting because I've heard a lot of negative feedback about this model. I actually think it's doing better as far as prose generation goes. Now let's go ahead and try a different thing. Let's go into the prompt and try asking it to write a whole lot more. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify the prompt here. It says write 400 words. We're gonna say uh, 4,000. Let's try that and go interestingly the progression of events that it's giving me here is almost exactly the same as the first one so it, it might be more consistent it did make up more text though and that makes sense because i asked it to, to write more it ended up writing 800 words that's not too bad for a single prompt with like one sentence in in the prompt there let's try a different project one that has a lot of text already in it so we can see how that works and this book it, some of the ai models get a little hung up on because it's like a lot more violent and things like that so if we take a look at this let's go all the way down to chapter four four okay so the end of chapter four and let's just create a random scene beat here and say mina uh, on the way home encounters a strange occurrence she sees a wolf slinking off into the distance and she decides to follow the wolf however quickly disappears from view and she is unable to find it again even her height and sense of smell can't pick it out so we'll just go with something like that and it's got it's going to be looking at a lot of the back words that we've got here to try and continue in the same style so let's go ahead and try it with the new sonnet all right and it's going it's doing it uh even when i'm asking it for four thousand words <laughs> okay so it didn't actually write very much here it only wrote 300 words let me try it with the non-moderated version all right this time i wrote through also 300 words so it, it doesn't seem to want to do more than that and this so far has been, I think, the biggest criticism I've seen from a number of the people using this model is that it's not writing very long. I was able to get 1,500 words out of it in one instance, but I'm not certain that we that's going to be consistent. And it's going to depend probably on the prompt. This prompt has a lot of stuff involved with it, and um, maybe it's just too much. Maybe it's overwhelming things. Maybe we need to have simpler prompts. I don't know. This is going to require a lot of experimentation. But one last thing I want to try here with the pros is we're going to come here and actually copy this prompt exactly verbatim as it works here. And we're going to go into Claude. And this time for sure, we're using the new version of 3.5 Sonic because you can definitely see that here. I'm going to paste in the prompt here and just let it go. This should be the exact same type of results that we've gotten out of Novel Crafter. And so far it seems to be doing okay. All right. Definitely did not write a whole lot of words again despite the fact that i asked it for 4000 uh this is probably no more than 300 from what i can tell yep 369 yeah so it definitely doesn't appear to want to give you long responses hopefully they can fix this in the near future i know there are already people complaining about it on the discord but that's a problem however if you're one of those people that only goes one beat at a time and you're starting to you know just edit as you go rather than trying to generate whole chapters at once this shouldn't affect you too much and actually from what i'm able to see the prose that it's giving me here is actually pretty dang good. Possibly better than the previous 3.5 Sonnet, although that's kind of hard to judge in uh, situations like this. So what I want to do now is let's test some of the other standard prompts that I have for creative writing 
uh, that are not pros generation, like ideation and stuff like that, and see how, how it does with those kind of prompts. So we'll start with a standard log line prompt, uh, asking for 20 log lines for a sci-fi beach romance story. This is the same prompt that I've used before to try and get some decent story ideas. All right, and we got a marine biologist developing underwater cities discovers an intelligent coral reef that's falling in love with her through telepathic waves, forcing her to choose between protecting Earth's coastlines and her growing connection with an alien consciousness. That's actually a little more original than I usually get, but it could be a fluke. Let's see. When the last lifeguard on a post-apocalyptic beach falls for the last lifeguard on a, in a post-apocalyptic world, how many lifeguards are there going to be on beaches? Uh, falls for a mysterious swimmer who never leaves the water. She realizes he's part of a genetically engineered race trying to reverse rising sea levels. Okay, that one just kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, a time-traveling beach cleanup volunteer keeps encountering the same handsome surfer across different decades, only to discover he's immortal and must prevent future oceanic disasters that would separate them forever. That one's not too bad either, and a little bit more original than I get. So, Maybe a marginal improvement here. Uh, let's copy this one. And we're going to do a pretty intense prompt here. We're going to say, using the following concept and outline template, generate a fully fleshed out outline for this book, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the concept is here that we just grabbed from the brainstorming prompt. And I'm going to grab my pretty fleshed out outline template here. By the way, if you want to get this document I'm looking at now with my full outline template, you can do so in the links below. I have a bunch of free stuff there that you can get, including this. I'm just going to paste this entire outline template into that space and then go from there let's we'll see how it does when i'm giving it a mountain of information and see if it's able to actually do anything and it says i'll help create a detailed outline all right and here it's starting to give us the outline uh, a massive coral bleaching event occurs off the coast of australia as marine scientists rush to document the devastation one small patch of coral mysteriously generates itself pulsing with an otherworldly blue bioluminescence the coral seems to reach out yeah, yeah, yeah. dr sarah chin a 35 year old marine biologist struggles to secure funding for her controversial underwater habitat project, Nautilus One. Da, 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 da. You know, the logic here is not too bad. It's not perfect. Like this chapter here is a little awkward. Sarah visits a coastal community being devastated by rising sea levels. This is kind of like random. Like it doesn't have much to do with the previous story from what I was reading. But we have a decent inciting incident here. Um, during a night dive to collect samples, Sarah's experiences a powerful telepathic connection with the reef. She sees vivid images of marine life and feels overwhelmed emotions that aren't her own. The experiences leave her shaken and questioning her sanity. Her equipment records unprecedented levels of neural activity in the coral polyps. Okay, but it only got to number 10 just now, and I'm not able to actually continue from in here. And so I would have to come over here and say, continue with act 2a and i'd probably have to repeat this process for uh all the way through each act but the summary that it's giving me is like not too bad if i'm being completely honest i usually don't get good results at all from this prompt because i'm giving it the entire outline and expecting it to write it well and usually i get better results by going one chapter at a time and brainstorming multiple options than picking the best one uh, but this so far has been better than what I've seen before. Not perfect, but better. All right, next I'm gonna test uh, ad headline prompt that I have. Pretty simple prompt. Give me 20 Facebook ad headlines that sell a book about food addiction. A personal memoir talking about how someone overcame food addiction and the benefits they received. How I lost 90 pounds without another diet is a good one. I thought food controlled me until I discovered this. That's not bad. The truth about food addiction nobody talks about. Okay, so there are a couple of gems in here that are good. The rest are not great. They're kind of the same bland headlines that you would expect back like beyond willpower a real story of food addiction recovery like that's not gonna hook anybody but some of them are not bad like when diets failed this worked instead like i'm instantly curious like what is this that we're talking about here so there are some good ones in here and not just, again this isn't that bad i'm a little surprised last one we're gonna do here is a major super prompt for an seo uh, article so i've got an article here about helena troy for my mythology website and uh, i've got like keywords in here that i want to make sure it includes uh the outline of the article and then a massive amount of background information which is just youtube transcripts and other articles on the web that has similar information just to make sure that it has all of the information it needs 
needs and it's not just pulling from its own database not the database its own knowledge uh but this this entire prompt if you include all of the background information is many thousands of words long and so i'm not even sure it's going to be able to handle it or write an article that is long enough it might write a really small article from what we've seen so far that could be an issue okay the finished article ended up being 1100 words which isn't bad but certainly i would want more for this particular thing an article of this size would end up being probably between two and three thousand words so not good enough but honestly not much worse than i've gotten out of other past models as well and the quality here is pretty good and kind of a ai-ish start here helena troy stands as one of the most enigmatic figures in classical mythology remembered as the most beautiful woman in the ancient world whose story has fascinated audiences for millennia that's a very ai typical introductory sentence and and not really one that i think makes a good introduction i should really like i should train a model on how to do good web introductions because not only does ai not to get it right but people don't get it right half the time more than half the time but if we keep going to like myths involving helen of troy helen's uh, say this is one area where i would flesh it out probably add like three times as much information for each of these bullet points. Helen's birth story is one of the most unusual in Greek mythology. The most common version tells that Zeus transformed into a swan, seduced Leda, who then laid an egg from which uh, Helen emerged. In some versions, Leda produced two eggs. While still very young, some sources say as young as seven, Helen was abducted by the Athenian hero Theseus. Her brothers, Castor and Pollux, eventually rescued her and captured Theseus's mother, Athra, as revenge, making her Helen's servant straightforward and to the point which is what i like to see in online uh web writing that is my background is doing seo this isn't bad but it definitely would need to be at least twice as long so i would probably need to split this up into two parts and try to have it do it that way it's not going to just spit out an article all at once. So there you have it, folks. Like, I have not actually found a whole lot of the same issues that other people have, except for the fact that it doesn't seem to want to write long responses, which is a problem. I do think the pros is decent compared to what we've had before. But let me know in the comments if you're seeing any particular issues changing from the old Claude 3.5 Sonnet to the new one. And if you're seeing it, if it's better or worse for you, let me know how you got there, too, because I would love to continue to test this further and see what its limitations are. This is giving me slight flat flashbacks to Claude 2.1, which a disaster compared to Claude 2.0. Thankfully, they fixed that a lot with the release of the Claude 3 models. But for a while there, it was a little scary. And this is the problem with a lot of these models, is that the priority for the developers at Anthropic and at OpenAI is usually not authors, right? They're more interested in its reasoning capability, its math capability, its coding capability, and its ability to just sort of help out around uh, your tech. Like one of the announcements made with this is that Anthropic is working on being able to control and navigate your screens. And I think we are moving towards a future where you might not even need a keyboard and a mouse, right? You'll just be able to control everything on your screens with your voice and a write with your voice and all of those things. Who knows if that'll actually, I, I'm sure there will still be some way to manually navigate in case the AI is not working. But I think we are moving in that direction. Uh, the problem is what we really need is a model that will actually be specifically geared towards writing literary creative writing and none of these models are designed for that they kind of do that as a byproduct it's one of the things that they can do but none of those specialize in it because they're trying to be such a broad model to appeal to so many people so it could do like everything but I think what we're going to be seeing in the near future is an increase in models specifically designed for creative writing and for other tasks as well. We might even see models spring up that are designed for a specific genre. Like if you want to write fantasy versus romance, like those are two very different types of storytelling and the way you storytell with those particular genres is quite different. And so it would make sense to have a model for one and another model for another that's kind of like designed to work with those genres. We're moving into a future where I think that's going to be possible but we're not quite there yet hopefully any of the small issues that we have here with the new 3.5 sauna and the upcoming 3.5 haiku which i don't have access to you but as soon as i get the access to i will make another video about that unfortunately the 3.5 does have some issues and hopefully they iron those out quickly they did seem to make 2.1 a little bit better after a lot of authors complained about it. So hopefully the same thing will happen with this new 3.5 model. Again, let me know what problems you're having in the comments because I was unable to find anything particularly deal-breaking when it comes to these models, even though there are definitely some quirks to it and probably you'll need to change your prompting techniques a little bit. But those are just my initial thoughts. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.